Hey y'all, my name is Alyssa. Welcome back to Full Throttle Reptiles. Today, um, I'm going to show you how I ultrasound my girls here. Um, so, if this is your first time here, make sure you're hitting that like button and uh, make sure you're subscribing. So, um, like I said, I'm just going to show you a little bit how I ultrasound. I've had a lot of questions about what ultrasound machine I'm using, the settings I'm using. So, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about that. So, um, I have been fortunate enough to have a veterinarian as my mentor. Uh, he's kind of tweaked my settings and I just want to share those with you. So, let's go check it out. So Sally is going to be the first girl that we ultrasound. So this is the ultrasound machine I'm using. It's the Contech, uh, Contech Medical System. So the probe I'm using is the Leonard probe or the Leonard probe. Um, it's the 7.5 hertz probe. So that's the most important part is to having this flat probe. Um, this is the only one that I've gotten to use. I used the convex probe, I think it is, and it did not do that great of a job. So the key is, is making sure you have enough ultrasound gel on the actual probe itself, knowing where to put it and how hard to press. So Sally is, um, we've already measured her, um, but I'm just going to show you hers are pretty clear. So I'm a little extra when it comes to that. I got my little barbecue bottle, any kind of ultrasound uh, gel works. Um, on here, so on the machine, you will see that it's just like a gray pitcher. So on, on the snake, it really depends on the size of the snake and where it goes. Um, but they're always going to want to bend where you need it to go. And you want the snake as flat or as straight as possible. So here's her spine. You're going to put it on the side. And you're just going to roll back and forth until you see on the screen some nice white... Um, areas with some black circles that are like hollow like you can kind of see those right there it's gonna be high, kind of hard to tell with the the lights i'm using on camera but i don't know if it's really picking those up kind of see those right there okay let's see if we can get a better view of those and just keep rolling it back and forth. Um, and it always helps if you have the actual side of the probe where you want it to go, and you'll get a clearer picture like that. So making sure that you're pressing down a little hard enough there. Okay, so right here I'm seeing about five good sized follicles on Sally. And again, it's all about how you hold your probe, making sure it's flat, making sure you have enough ultrasound gel. Um, but those are pretty good follicles. Let me see if I can get her straightened out a little bit more so we can get them. Alright, so if we look right here on the screen. Give it back to me. Alright, so those popping up are some really nice follicles. Um, so right there, see the okay, you're gonna move. Okay, so my ultrasound has to tell I keep up with everything. I thought that was pretty cute. Um, but everything I'm pairing, um, I'm starting to write down like the millimeters and stuff. Some of this stuff's um, secret information. Ooh, secret so information. we'll type in cine. Um, that's a cinnamon leopard, right? Hepide. 
Um, and then whatever I'm pairing with her, which will probably just be the banana pine. So we'll write an average of eight and a half millimeter follicles. So that's how I just keep up with everything. It's kind of chicken scratch there, but got it. All right, let's get. She scared the shit out of me. Top ones right there are on the right side of the ovary. That's a really good follicle. Um, can you reach and hit that freeze button? Okay. So you can kind of see, I don't know how it's going to look on the camera, but you can kind of see this one right here, this one right here, and then this follicle right here. So if we go to measure these follicles. So what I'm doing is I'm using the set button and the little mouse. So right here is the end of one follicle. You're going to measure that to the opposite side of the follicle, the distance here, and it's going to show 7.7 .7 millimeters. So the settings on this, um, you can kind of see, you just kind of mess with the main game is the only thing that we kind of adjusted and you just want to make sure your probe frequency is at 7.5. You actually can set it a little bit higher um, but it picks up more of the ribs which right up here is the ribs of the snake. Um, you won't see that on um, that probe frequency. So let's see what else we can get here. She had some really nice, really nice follicles growing. Pretty much girls stay right at five all year round. Um, I've seen a lot of people start pairing their male at eight millimeters um, when they're female. So that's what I'm going to start doing. This is actually my first year using an ultrasound machine. So we'll see. It always helps having an extra set of hands. Um, and you're not going to hurt the snake as long as you know you're not pressing down on the ribs and whatnot. But it's always good to have a second hand to, uh, set of hands to hold the opposite side so you can kind of put a little bit of pressure. Also, if a snake's in shed, you're not going to get a good, um, a good ultrasounding just because of the water underneath the, the skin. So, let's try a different snake and see what we got from there. Focus. Go ahead. All right, so this girl is going to be a first-time mom. I've never paired her before. She's still pretty small, um, but we're going to see if we've got anything going on here. She's being too still. Too good to be true here. All right, so these are some nice-looking follicles. Let's see if I can go up a little bit and get some more in here. multiple different sizes so if we're going off the biggest follicle here it should be this one which this isn't the best picture that you could possibly get but so that one's measuring at 10.2 so now if we go over here and try to measure like a smaller follicle which I can kind of see a full circle right here they're not all consistent. That one's an average of 8.3. So, um, even though this is a smaller girl, she's two years old. She's a little over 1,500 grams. So, that's when we'll start pairing her because they're an average. Um, most of these I'm seeing, this is probably one of the smallest ones on here. So, that's when we'll start pairing her um, at 8 millimeters. So this girl is just a super inchy. She is actually a snake I picked up uh, my first Tinley from Tony Jones, which is my neighbor, uh, Richard Jones Reptiles. She was the first girl to lay last year. So theoretically, usually 
they go the same time every single year. So, this girl, we need to start pairing soon. So, you can see right here on the screen, starting to get some really big ones. Uh, so, we can go ahead and freeze. So, we'll say this is the downfall to this ultrasound machine versus the Freedom Breeder or the Breeder Circle, I'm sorry, the Breeder Circle ultrasound machine is there's no foot pedal, so you always have to have a second set of hands if you want to actually legit measure the follicles. Um, however, like once you get to doing this, like you can tell like this, uh, this needs to be paired. Something like that doesn't need to be paired. Females are pretty much going to stay at five all year round. So once they start building at eight, that's when you need to, need to go. What was it? Eleven. So again, when you're ultrasounding, um, like this is a smaller female, but she's she's very thick. So right here at the bend, where the snake always bends, is where you need it stretched out and flat to ultrasound. Like if you did this right here, you're not gonna see anything at all. Like you're gonna see her ribs. You're gonna see um her bladder not what you want to see um but it's pretty cool you know looking at the whole snake but that's not what you're not what you're going for can we do the snowflake now yep hit the snowflake mm. what do you see nothing do it again Snowflake. No, I don't see this. Look. Yes. What are those? I don't know. Okay. What is it? <laughs> They're follicles. I'll do it again. Ah! I'll do it still again. Get the snowflake again. Mm -hmm. Anything yet? No. Snowflake. Oh, I can't see something. Oh, I can't see something. 